And so you're going to be learning a lot. And we're going to start off with HTML. And what you're going to do is you're going to start learning how to work with elements of HTML uh, as you build a website. And you'll find that HTML is fairly simple to pick up. Okay, it's, it's really just memorization. Which things do I use where? Uh, you don't have to write any complex code um, that even requires much thinking. It just is literally remembering which tags to put where and making sure you have the opening and closing tags. So we'll build a full scale, uh, a full scale HTML only uh, website. Uh, it'll it'll look like HTML only. There's no CSS, no pretty colors, or anything like that. And we're gonna work with that till you get the foundations down. Okay. After you have the foundations of HTML, then we're going to move on to CSS. We're going to introduce you to the beginning concepts and how it works and what it does and how it affects your websites. Okay, And once you've got the basics of that down, you actually move on to more intermediate and advanced topics. And you're going to be building um, full professional looking websites, uh, the HTML and the CSS. And you're going to build everything. So you're going to reiterate the HTML principles and then you're going to hammer in the CSS principles so you can build um, beautiful yet responsive websites. One of the things about this course uh, that you're going to really take to heart is responsiveness. And that means being able to build websites that fit on iPhones and Android devices as well as tablets as well as uh, small computer screens and large computer screens and high definition computer screens and so we're going to build our apps so they support all the screens and uh, that's really important especially in uh, today's modern web development you have to support mobile and sometimes uh, they even recommend that you support mobile first and then expand outwards from there so we're going to teach you all of that in and out and it is a lot a lot of really good stuff there okay after you learn css and HTML, you're basically at a point where you can start building your own static websites. And what a static website is, it means that it doesn't really change much. Uh, there's no code behind it. So if you want websites that can, act that can actually think and do things, you're going to need to learn JavaScript. So we'll take a deep dive into the JavaScript programming language. And this is where you'll actually start learning how to code and write things that can do things. And what that means is you'll be able to write code that can think and make decisions. And so we're going to teach you the absolute basics. You don't have to have any prior coding experience. This is designed for absolute beginners. So you'll learn JavaScript and then you'll learn how to use JavaScript with a website. You'll learn how to grab elements and then to make your website do different things. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Very important. Not only that, JavaScript uh, will is a foundation for you as you move on to other programming languages, whether you move on to back-end development, iPhone development, Android development, any other type of development, this portion of the course is critical for you to master, okay? It is so important to learn JavaScript. In fact, there's no more jobs out there really for people who only know HTML or CSS. You have to know JavaScript in and out. And so we have uh, some exercises there to help you really retain this knowledge and we're gonna teach you everything. After that, you're gonna learn about version control. And what version control is, is the ability to manage multiple files. Uh, on your projects, so you don't have to copy and paste your code everywhere. Uh, it also allows you to collaborate with teams and create backups of your files as well, too. So we're going to teach you the ins and outs of Git. We're going to show you how to work with GitHub, a free service that you can upload your code to. And uh, any professional developer will tell you that they use Git. And so we're going to start you off right, and right here from the beginning, uh, learning how to use version control with Git. After version control, you're going to dive into Bootstrap. And not just a little bit of Bootstrap, you're really going to master the whole system. Bootstrap is a popular modern framework for making your CSS more powerful, for laying out your websites, for allowing your websites to be super responsive without having to write a whole bunch of custom code. So you can support mobile devices and tablets really easily without having to do that all from scratch. In the CSX sections, we teach you how to do that from scratch. With Bootstrap, it makes your life a little bit easier but it's important to understand the foundations. So when you get to Bootstrap, we'll teach you the basics. We'll build a full-scale website again, uh, but then we'll take you down to the advanced topics, and you also learn how to use the grid system with Bootstrap. Uh, very powerful, and uh, pretty much most web developers I know use Bootstrap in their website, so it's really important that you learn it. Okay. After Bootstrap, you're going to move on to back-end development. You're going to learn Node. Okay. Node is, a, Node is an engine, more or less, uh, that can interpret JavaScript. Rather, it can do that on a computer. Before, only your web browsers could do that, but now you can do that everywhere on any computer. So you're going to learn how to use Node, and you're going to learn how to build your own APIs. Basically, place code on a server that your websites can talk to. Every website that you know that has some type of functionality where you can log in or do something like that has a back-end server somewhere that has an API of some 
of some kind that's delivering data back to the client apps, the website or the mobile apps. So you get to be the backend developer and we're gonna teach you from the absolute basics uh, all the way to building up your own backend database um, or backend API and then you'll learn how to connect your database. You'll learn how to work with MongoDB and how to insert things and delete things and update things. And then you'll actually build a full on store API, like an e-commerce store, but the back end side of it. And you'll be able to uh, connect that to a database and have it persistently store. So when you refresh your page, the data is still there. Super powerful stuff. You're just getting a taste of it here, but we teach you all the basics and this is a good time for you as a new person to figure out what path you want to be. Do I want to be developing the UI on a website or the CSS? Or am I more of a back-end kind of person? Do I like spending my time in the code uh, and building APIs? Well, in this course, you get to figure out who you are and what you want to do because we're covering everything. So after you build your APIs and you are working with um, databases, the very last thing we're going to do is introduce you to a very popular web framework called React. React is built by Facebook and maintained by the community, but basically React is a powerful front-end framework that allows you to build modularized component-based websites. So just picture having like a, a weather widget on a website that could tell the weather and has a bunch of information in it. Imagine being able to, with one line of code, use that widget anywhere else, in any other website or on your project, and that's the power of React. And uh, many professional web developers are using a framework like React or Angular. And so you're going to take a deep dive into React and get the basics. And this is really going to test, this is really going to test your knowledge and push you to the whole next level. We're not just taking you from absolute beginner to a little bit better. We're going to take you from absolute beginner to competent web developer. And so it's super important that you take this portion of the course and you're really going to get a full sense of how to put a whole website together from the back end, the API and the database to the front end with Bootstrap and HTML and CSS and React and everything in between. And you're gonna write a lot of code too uh, in JavaScript. So you're gonna be doing everything in this section and it's just amazing. You're gonna really take your skills to a whole new level. So this course is filled with tons of content. Take it a step at a time. If you get frustrated, just take a breather. Okay, it, everyone gets frustrated. You're gonna get frustrated if you're new to coding, especially if you've never programmed a thing in your life. It can be frustrating. And so just take a breath, take a break. Make sure you spend every day coding. Do not let one day go by where you're not spending time coding. Otherwise, it's easier to forget these things. And so I'm super excited to teach you. Jason's super excited to teach you. Uh, welcome to the course. 